Looking at the light industrial sector, we've always found it to be a good uh, sector to invest in. And going back just five, four or five years, um, yields, even in Stockholm, in light industrial, was maybe between eight and nine percent. Um, and uh, to us, that was, it, it was obvious that it was a great investment opportunity. Although we haven't seen any rental increases in this uh, segment for a long, long time, uh, we will over the next few years, primarily because a lot of the industrial areas in the big cities are really being converted, especially the, the ones that are close to the city. They're being converted into uh, mixed cities, like residential, office, retail. And um, very little of the, of the, the, the area that is being uh, sown is really uh, uh, put aside for, for industrial use. Uh, there are some industrial areas that are quite a bit outside of, of, of uh, I'm, I'm mainly talking about Stockholm now, but I think it's the same in the other big cities. Uh, they're quite a bit outside, and that's just not really suitable for a lot of the types of businesses that are, that are generally located in these areas. So we saw that we're, gonna, we're going to lose a lot of the surface area over the next few years, at the same time that the economy is doing quite well, so the demand is actually increasing. So we figured that rents must start increasing, and that's, that's what they've done. I think in some uh, some areas we've seen rental increase, uh, increases of, of, of around 40-50% over just a, a few years' time, basically. Um, and also a number of new funds and new players going into to, to this segment. Um, some of them are attracted by the rental grow growth, so they're willing to pay quite low yields because they know the reversionary yield um, uh, over the next few years is going to be a lot higher for them. Uh, because in this in contrast to logistics, in light industrial, um, in Sweden, the, uh, uh, the uh, 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 lease terms tend to be quite short, maybe two or three years only. So you're able to actually capitalize on this rental growth quite soon. And that, that used to be a disadvantage, but now it's an advantage with the rental growth. Um, but some uh, new of the new players are just also interested that there, there's a segment of the light industrial that, that is still sort of left behind. Um, that the main players think that uh, the properties itself, themselves aren't good enough. Uh, and and, and th there's a, still quite a big yield gap between sort of the prime industrial assets, light industrial assets, and the secondary and tertiary.